Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about the train system in Farming Sim 17. This is on the Gold Crest Valley uh, map, of course. So basically with the trains, you have two different tracks. You have this east track that runs right here on the start gray line that I'm tracing with my cursor. And you have a west track over on this side, the west side of the map. Um, you also have three stations for the trains to go to. One is up here on the east track and can only be accessed by the east track train. One is down here north of town and can only be accessed by the west side train. And then the one where they can meet up in the middle is right here by your sheep. And this is where you can transfer things to and from each train, uh, whether that is crop, root crops or lumber and we will look at all that today. M the most important thing I th think to mention about trains is, is that it is the only way to access Maplefield Mill. You can see the Maplefield Mill has a little uh, train symbol on it. The only way you can sell stuff there is using the trains. So if you go over here, Maplefield Mill, uh, it includes all the crops including potatoes and beets. You can store your potatoes and beets in these train stations unlike the silos of your farm. So let's look at maybe a few ways uh, to use these trains. So if you want to put stuff in one of these stations, all you do is go to the station. I'm at the one by the sheep, uh, sort of in the middle of the map, just a little to the left. And each station looks about the same. You'll go here and you'll just dump your stuff right there and it'll go into this train station. It will not go into the other two, you have to transport it to the other two and I'll show you that in a little bit. If you want to get it back out of the train station into a tipper, drive it under here and again the other two stations are almost identical so you'll be able to figure it out um, if you got this one. Uh, so that's how you put stuff in and get stuff out. If you want to get stuff out into your train then you'll use these pipes here. So if I were to try to switch to my trains using this tab method, I wouldn't get there. If you want to be able to switch to trains, make sure you go into your options and right here, switch to trains, you'll have to turn that on and now it'll be part of the rotation right there. So right now I'm in the east track train. You can tell I'm on the east side of the, the map. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to transfer some beets from this middle station to the station up by field eight. Um, I just want to put a few beets in there so that I have easier access to them to feed my cows. So you have three, I can't zoom out enough, you have three train cars uh, for crops and then you have two on this one for lumber and one on this west side track for lumber and we'll show that in just a little bit. So if you want grain, you can put in three different, tri different types of crop. Uh, just put it under that pipe right there and then it's basically the same as always. Hit R or whatever your load button is. I'm gonna find some beets. Um, actually, you know what? I want potatoes. I'm gonna just put all my potatoes in that station. So all I have to do is load it up uh, each car can hold 120,000 units, uh, so they are very high volume. And then you just go ahead and drive it like any other normal vehicle. Again, if you wanted to transfer two other types of crops, you could. You just have to put that the appropriate train car underneath. Now, we're already nearing the station. These go really fast, um, and they're really heavy, so make sure you start stopping soon enough so that you don't uh, fly by the train station. Alright, so there is the train station there. I'm gonna start braking. And now I can get rid of the map and let you see where we are. Basically I just need to get the train car with the potatoes. Uh oh, I'm gonna fly right by this even though I just warned warned you not to. Uh, you just want to get the train car, it's really hard to get a good camera angle, over that grain system there. I'll try to get out and show you. So there's the pipe, just like the other station. There is where you're going to unload. 
and this is where of course you'll put stuff in if you want to uh, if you have a tipper so all I have to do now is hit the unload button just like normal and there you go now I have 8,000 potatoes in this train station which you can see on the north uh, like kind of the upper left side of the map those are the pigs and here's a cool little thing when you drive by a road those will automatically go down kind of the train warnings there uh, so anyway we're gonna leave this train right here so that we can work with this one uh, now we are going to load this one up with lumber so I can show you that and then you can take lumber to the Stanton sawmill so to get lumber uh, you have to get out and go to the crane. I like to call it the train crane, Dr. Fraser crane. I don't know why, probably because it's, it's dumb. Um, anyway, you'll get in this crane and then you'll have to look at your controls uh, to drive it. It's, it's sort of tricky, but basically you'll just want to uh, line it up best you can and then drop and then pinch. Just basically just like your uh, normal forestry crane. Uh, kind of like your logging fork. I'm going to drop some just because I'm, I'm kind of doing this quickly. But basically you want to get them from here. And of course if I had the other train filled with lumber I could do this from train to train. Uh, I'm just deciding to do this from truck to train. Uh, now if I can remember the controls to go right. and I, I'll probably have to go back. Don't be afraid to switch your angle like that. We'll drop it down. Open it up. And there you go. Now it, I really recommend putting your straps on it because you're going to be going really fast. So go over here. Um, for a PC it's R, whatever the fast and tension belt is. I think you only need one uh, for it to lock in place. Get in your train. Now remember these trains do go backwards. So since Stanton Sawmill is really close I could go backwards. I'm not going to because I'm going to show you the other train station in town. And we're going to load this bad boy up with some beets and sell them at the, uh, sorry, Maplefield Mill. Again, you can use any train car you want. Um, I'll use the middle one just for fun. Even though it's a little harder to see. You see it open up there, hit R. And I'll load it with beats. I have 187,000. Okay, so it takes a while. Uh, something important we just found out, the middle car does 90,000 units, not 120, I'm sorry. Um, I guess the front one does 120, that one does 90. Not sure what the back one does now. Um, sometimes I learn while tutorializing. Okay, so anyway, uh, we're going to go this way just so we can hit up the mill and this station. So here is the West Track station. It's north of town. It works the exact same way. We're not even going to stop. We're just going to drive right by it, but that's, that's it. And now we're going to go sell this at the... Maplefield Mill. It basically works just like we unloaded at the other train station. It's just now we're actually going to get money. Uh, I'll show you the prices before we do so. So yeah, I could have I could have loaded more train cars with beats, um, but I thought this one took long enough to load, so we should probably just move on. Okay, so if we look at Maplefield Mill. Um, beat price 232 not great um, but yeah you could load up three different crops and really sell some high volumes here I'm just gonna hit I luckily it unloads way faster than it loads if you have a small um, car full of crop you can usually unload it on the move and don't even have to stop $21,000 for 90,000 beats okay I'll take it. Um, now we're going to head over to the Stanton Sawmill just to show you how you can sell here. Basically you're just going to do the reverse of what we did over at the other station. I'm going to fly right by it. Now to sell these, you don't even have to drop them. You can just lower your crane onto this rectangle zone and it'll sell them. And there you go. That is how you do it. Uh, so that 
is the terrain system and how you can transport crops and lumber to and from each side of the tracks and to the sawmill and the uh, regular old Maplefield mill. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Leave a like and or dislike if you'd like or dislike. Um, subscribe if you want to. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day. One is up here on the east track and can only be accessed by the east track train. One is down here north of town and can only be accessed by the west side train. And then the one where they can meet up in the middle is right here by your sheep. And this is where you can transfer things to and from each train, uh, whether that is crop, root crops, or lumber. And we will look at all that today. The most important thing I th think to mention about trains is that it is the only way to access Maplefield Mill. You can see the Maplefield Mill has a little uh, train symbol on it. The only way you can sell stuff there is using the trains. So if you go over here, Maplefield Mill, uh, it includes all the crops, including potatoes and beets. You can store your potatoes and beets in these train stations, unlike the silos of your farm. So let's look at maybe a few ways uh, to use these trains. So if you want to put stuff in one of these stations, all you do is go to the station. I'm at the one by the sheep, uh, sort of in the middle of the map, just a little to the left. And each station looks, I wouldn't get there. If you want to be able to switch to trains, make sure you go into your options and right here, switch to trains, you have to turn that on. And now it'll be part of the rotation, right? there. So right now I'm in the east track train. You can tell I'm on the east side of the, the map. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to transfer some beets from this middle station to the station up by field 8. Um, I just want to put a few beets in there so that I have easier access to them to feed my cows. So you have three... I can't zoom out enough. Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we are talking about the train system in Farming Sim 17. This is on the Gold Crest Valley uh, map, of course. So basically with the trains, you have two different tracks. You have this east track that runs right here on the start gray line that I'm tracing with my cursor. And you have a west track over on this side, the west side of the map. Um, you also have three stations for the trains to go to. It's about the same. You'll go here and you'll just dump your stuff right there and it'll go into this train station. It will not go into the other two. You have to transport it to the other two and I'll show you that in a little bit. If you want to get it back out of the train station into a tipper, drive it under here. And again, the other two stations are almost identical so you'll be able to figure it out um, if you got this one. Uh, so that's how you put stuff in and get stuff out. If you want to get stuff out into your train, then you'll use these pipes here. So if I were to try to switch to my trains using this tab method,